So, can I ask you, what, did, what made you get interested in this? Um, it was just finding the images that had been digitised um, online and I um, was fixated on the images themselves and spent a good three hours <laughs> looking at them all. Um, I was doing an exhibition proposal at the time for an assessment task at uni and used this as the basis for that and then um, contacted Dan Hardy who's in the Glamex lab at the uni to see if they would support actually putting this together and they did and the curator of the University Galleries got in touch with me and asked could I put in a submission which I did and she accepted that and called me in December and said let's go for February so yeah we got them all printed and um, and hung and um, it's been it's been wonderful to see them all on the wall because I really as soon as I saw them in a digital form I really wanted to see them on a wall so people could could actually view them and how beautiful and clear they are even though they're so old there's still that sense that you're in that place so and you actually live in war's end i do yeah yeah which made it even more of a connection when i was looking at the images and sort of realizing that this life was lived down the road from my house and um, so Josiah's mother's house is actually on the corner, just near my house, so, or was, um, but the site is there. So, and I know Billy Goat Hill, and yeah, my, my husband grew up in Wall's End as well, so it's been a lovely thing to find. And the, the diaries have just been amazing to read as well, even more beautiful almost than the images, <laughs> but it really does take you back to that place and that time. Albums, so you can demonstrate and made cardboard and brown paper. Yeah, but they had just sort of showing me a few of the pieces of the Yeah, I was fascinated. There's a lot of images in there that were that aren't in the album. Really? 